Welcome to my channel. I hope you like the intro music. Um, I had a friend of mine who just redid it. Let me go ahead and turn off this music playing in the background. And then I'll get copyright strike and nobody wants that. Anyways, so today we're going to be doing um, changing strings on a guitar. Now, um, I got a little froggy and I did. Um, more to the guitar than I thought I was going to then just change strings so yeah let me flip over to it as you can see I always wanted a brother guitar and I've always had this guitar laying around so I'm going into town to it to make it look relic now this is a Dean Vendetta uh, one of the cheaper models of it so that's why I chose this guitar versus this beauty right here and uh, my Gretsch because yeah I will cry if any of those got really damaged so this is what we're going to be working on um, all the strings are already popped um, I do have to adjust the bridge here there's some fret buzz I'm also going to do some some work on the neck, make it look a little bit more um, rustic, some on the head over here, and then maybe some on the back of the body. I've done a little bit on, this, on the back of the body, like around the edges, but we'll see how it turned out. Um, things I use at uh, the beginning for the relicking, I did use a razor blade, but I found that a knife is just better. And we are going to be putting these heavy babies, <coughs> slinky top, heavy bottom, skinny top, heavy bottom, Arnie ball strings on this baby. Um, I do have this guitar tuned to, I believe, E flat. My Gretsch is standard, and uh, this one's probably going to be uh, drop B or uh, maybe drop D. Double drop D. I don't know. We'll see. Because <clears throat> these are heavier strings, so get some good noises out of this one. When I would have some heavy songs at church, I'll probably just use the bad boy. It's a nice guitar though. Um, it's a light, pretty lightweight, light wood. So let's get into that. So now let's see how it's going to sound. Focus in, focus, 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 yes. Drag my face. There we go. All right, so got Cubase launched up. Cubase launched up. And we're gonna see how this sounds. Pretty exciting. Looks pretty cool, right? It's pretty, pretty sick.
and that is how you put strings on a guitar. All right, so as I'm editing the video, I noticed that I failed to do um, a lot of things. Um, like to mention what I used um, to even change the strings. So, um, just gonna real quick grab some tools. Still trying to get used to looking at the camera, so it's like weird to me. Um, Alright, so yeah, basically, um, you could buy this wire cutter anywhere, literally anywhere. Um, I believe I got this one with, if you look at my old video when I'm uh, cleaning the guitar uh, neck. And um, you see that I showed uh, one of the, the multi-tools that I use for a lot of the screws on the guitar. So that came with this, and I believe this as well. It was like a whole little combo pack that I just grabbed because I thought it was a good deal at the moment. So yeah, it's, yeah uh, definitely the names on there is called Cruise Tools. So definitely grab a pack. You could probably get this in any guitar center or uh, Sam Ash. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm coughing a lot. Um, if that is really annoying, I do try to cut them off. Um, I find it very annoying. Uh, COVID did happen in my life and uh, is the result. I have a continuous cough that never leaves. never leaves so again um, wire cutter from cruise tools uh, and then you can also find the multi-tool in my last video and then um, the string winder I believe it also came with that little package but um, definitely um, helpful tools um, I also didn't say how to wind the string over the... All right, so yeah, tuning peg. So, let me see. All right, I'm just gonna use the, the string winder and uh, just regularly use B cable. So when you are putting the string through the tuning peg, you wanna make sure you have a little, like a, I usually put, um, uh, I always usually measure to the other tuning peg and then I'll make a fold and then take the remainder of the string and kind of do a loop around it and then, sorry, kind of do a loop around it and then do another loop and then bend this. Kind of like, or I'm sorry, that's a really bad example. So I take the string. And then I make a loop around it and then bend. So it kind of makes its own locking mechanism. And then um, depending on what type of guitar you have, <clears throat> uh, Gibsons and Gretsch have that really weird angle on the neck uh, towards the head of the guitar where it's like really inclined. It's like really crazy. Um, on the Dean Vendetta, it wasn't that prominent, so I just left it um, towards uh, the string um, winding to the uh, towards the bottom. But if you do have a Gretsch or a Gibson, the way you want it to wind is to you want it to wind at least the D and G strings to the top of the tuning peg. So I know a lot of other. YouTube channels do a whole lot better. Get this to this position. So then what will happen is um, it's gonna be less stress and then your strings are gonna be uh, in better shape to keep tune versus the when it's winded to the bottom, it creates more tension. And then it just follows that that angle, that's not what you want. You don't want the string to follow the angle, you want it to keep it up top. 
so that way it's straight. And then when you do your your tram bends or uh, regular bends, um, your string will come back to shape or back to tune. Um, I've had many instances where I where I do a bend or a tram uh, bend, and then I go try to go into a solo, and my guitar is just really out of tune. Everybody's looking at me like, "My guy, you had one job." So that is all. Finally. So yeah, stay tuned to my next video. I will be going over my presets and also. Yeah, some presets. Let's do some presets. Hopefully I'm following my um, my five episode plan. If not, if we don't do presets next the video, we'll definitely get to it. All right, stay tuned.